I'm gonna build a homemade basketball. And how am I gonna do that, you may ask? Well, I have no idea. Actually, I do have an idea. Pull up the paper. Here is all the accessories I need for this basketball. One mini basketball, 20 towels, rubber bands, some scissors, some tape, and for you guys to drop a like and subscribe. Okay, okay, let's be real here. You're probably a little confused on why I have a bunch of towels and a mini basketball. You're probably not confused on why I have tape and scissors. It's common sense. Well, let me explain the plan. The plan is pretty simple. Take the basketball, wrap it in all the towels, tape the towels so they stay, you know, on the basketball. We'll then wrap the rubber bands around the whole thing and hope that that, you know, makes it bounce. We'll see. Okay, action music initiated. Uh, not bad so far. Time for the first layer of tape. Not bad. So obviously you're looking at this right now and you're probably thinking like, oh, what is that? You know, that's what I'm thinking right now. Just wait, I'm gonna go inside. Hopefully we have rubber bands. I didn't even really check yet. I'm gonna grab some rubber bands, wrap it around. So you know, like this extra hanging stuff will close in on the ball, you know? And that way it will hopefully be more circly all around. Let's hope we have some rubber bands inside. Cause honestly I have no idea. We got some rubber bands. Yes. Hopefully these fit around the whole bowl. We'll find out. Oh yeah. This is definitely gonna work a little better than I expected. Time lapse. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the homemade basketball is officially completed. Not gonna lie, it turned out a lot better than I expected. You guys ready to see it? Three, two, one. Yes, sir, here it is. Obviously, it isn't, you know, the prettiest basketball you've ever seen. Probably one of the ugliest, to be honest. But hey, at least it turned out to be a circle and not like, you know, a rectangle or triangle or square or something, you know? I haven't taken any shots with it or dribbled with it at all, but so far the only problem with it I have is it's really heavy. Like compared to a normal basketball, it's at least a pound heavier. Wait a minute, that gave me an idea. Speaking of comparing this to a normal basketball, I'm gonna put it head to head in four different basketball challenges, such as a three point contest, a dunk contest, a dribbling contest, and I guess we'll just do three contests. Whichever basketball wins the most challenges is the better hoop. Whichever basketball wins the most challenges is crowned the better ball. Let's go. So we have made it to the basketball hoop with both a normal basketball and a homemade one. The first challenge we'll be doing is dribbling. So just so you guys know, I literally have not bounced this thing once. I have no idea if it can bounce or not. Judging by the, you know, the rubber bands, I have a feeling it got a little bounce to it. I honestly have no idea though, but yeah. First dribble move will be a simple between the legs. Oh man, got a little excited there, but now the moment of truth. We're about to see if this thing actually dribbles. Three, two, one. Oh no. Dang it. I guess the normal basketball wins the dribbling contest. I was actually hoping this thing would know how to dribble, but hey, next challenge. Challenge number two, we will do my favorite challenge, the three point contest. Instead of taking five shots from each corner like we usually do, we're just gonna do three shots from each corner, so 15 in total. The last shot from each corner is worth two points, AKA the money ball.
the shot. It's time for the moment you guys have all been waiting for. The homemade one. Before we start the three point contest, I need a little warm up shot with this. So right now we're gonna take the first ever shot with the homemade basketball. Let's hit a three. I only air pulled that shot because you know I wasn't expecting all the weight on this thing. I'll make this one. Oh! We'll start the three point contest. Okay, we got a total of five points, which means the homemade ball lost again. Honestly, I'm pretty sure we all expected that. Anyway, we're anyway the anyway the normal basketball did win the challenge, but just because why not? We're gonna do the dunk contest. Okay, the hoop is at seven and a half feet because I doubt I can dunk any higher with that broken basketball. Or I mean homemade basketball. Anyway, for the dunk contest, we're gonna do four total dunks: a normal dunk, a 360 dunk, a alley oop dunk. That should be interesting. And a windmill dunk. Whichever ball I can pull all four dunks on with the least amount of attempts will win the dunk contest. Let's start off. Normal dunk. 360. Alley oop. And a windmill. Okay, not gonna lie, I haven't done any dunks in a super long time, so I kind of forgot how to do one. We're not going to count it. We'll count it. It took us eight total attempts to complete all of those dunks. Now let's do all those four again, but with this ball. Normal dunk. 360. Alley-oop. This one might be dangerous. Final one is the windmill. If I get it in under five attempts, this ball wins the dunk contest. Oh man. If I don't make it this attempt, the homemade ball loses. Man. Cool out today's video guys not gonna lie I've been giving this thing you know a few compliments here and there in this video but I'm gonna be honest right now it is terrible it literally doesn't dribble and it's like three times the weight of a normal basketball this isn't even considered a basketball it's literally towels with paper and you know everything it's a terrible ball okay just kidding I actually like it a little bit unfortunately I'm gonna have to ruin it though because my mom needs these uh strings and she also needs the towels I didn't even tell her I'm gonna take these other than that I hope you all did enjoy today's video and I am out Peace!